be constantly going on about it. Kill Ever since you've bees. been here, you've been an absolute pain in my ass. Do you know that? Slowly is right. Oh, damn it. God, why did he bring you back? Why? Read the forum. I know. User. I know. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. You are wrong. Oh, God. Never any, never any alone time. What's up, guys? Mr. Gims back again for another dead buy. Jesus Christ, it's been like 17 years. Hope you're doing all right. All right. Today, we're going to do the same thing we always do, except we got this idiot with us now because Dark Gims thought it would be good to send me insane and bring that back. I thought he was gone. I thought he was gone. He's not. He's here. He's there. Look. Look there. There. You see it? Hello, Gim. Hey, I've already got a kid. I don't need you. Chill. Roll the intro. Leave your entries in the forums below. And I'll read your opinions in the next episode of Dead By. Alright. Balancing around bad killers is ruining the game. Correct. Slazzy. Thanks, Dark Gims. Thank you very much. <laughs> there is a lot of discussion about how killers have effortless win streaks, and all you have to do is watch Twitch or YouTube to find the evidence. Yes, you're right. This is why stats need to be looked into with caution. Survivors don't have the win streaks that experienced killers possess, and I think this is bad for the game because it shows unfairness and most importantly, a grossly imbalanced game. Again! You're ignoring everything I've said. That's fine. But you're a solo survivor. We know there's a problem with solo. We've discussed there's a problem with solo. We know they need to fix solo. We know all of those things. But... Need something. Did you move, you weirdo? Christ. <laughs> yeah, just let me get through it. This is a long one. Have you seen this essay? Christ. Right, he's going to go through the perk changes. Okay, Circle of Healing. A perk that takes away from doing the objective to win. <laughs> okay. All right, so setting up a boon. Uh, to set up a way to heal, it was nerfed so much that it was less worthwhile than using self-care. Disagree? Self-care is now nerfed so bad that both is not acceptable or, most importantly, fun to use. I mean, it's a heal. You're supposed to have fun healing yourself, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's utility only, right? Fucking hell, get a grip. The ability to heal takes away too much time. Meanwhile, it is easy for killer to continue with their objective. It's very easy. It's super easy. Good killers can capitalize with no way for survivors to overcome. You're saying there that killers can easily capitalize, continue their objective with no way for survivors to overcome. So are they? So you're essentially saying the killer is facing potatoes? I don't Slazy know. You're right. very strange, Sluzzy. You too. Decides to strike. The survivor plays. I'm not going to read this. He's right. Five seconds. It should be five seconds. Completely, completely agree with this. You should use the ass. You suck. Oh. Dead Hard. Good killers knew how to play around old Dead Hard, as evidenced by watching killers play. Of course, it sometimes, albeit rarely in specific scenarios, extended the chase under very specific circumstances. And this sentence right here proves that you are not a high tier player and i'm not making fun of you for that that's fine but now that we have it in our minds that you're not a top level survivor that's good to know i think that's really great evidence of this let me read it one more time of course dead hard sometimes albeit rarely in specific scenarios extended the chase under very specific circumstances but, but shouldn't that be what the perk does it's not rare it's not rare great survivors really good survivors not even great just good survivors knew how to use the old dead hard to extend chases and that was essentially what they would use it for they didn't use dead hard most of the time to sort of dodge a hit this proves where your mind frame is and that's good uh, the perk is now nerfed, so killers do not have to think about the perk, which is a bad sign. I don't think it's nerfed. I think it's going to be stronger in some certain scenarios. It actually takes skill to use now, and it doesn't extend the chase further than what it could be. 
I think it's in a great place. Balancing so killer perks automatically reward the killer in so many ways <laughs> with no downsides. Well, we said we saw what you said about Hex Devour Hope, how it's just instant reward. Never mind the five tokens you need or the three tokens you need to insta down people. <laughs> While survivor perks have too many downsides. Dead Heart has no downsides. That's really weird. Windows of Opportunity has no downsides. Self-care, as I don't think it's a great perk, but it has a utility, so it's fair call. Does no downsides. You get the job done. You do heal yourself. Really weird. Too many deactivation conditions has caused the game to lose its fun factor for survivor side. You're only worried about survivor side, man. Killer side is suffering too. This is why Survivor is not as fun as it used to be because of lack of options. Experienced killers capitalize on these lacks of options survivors to guarantee their wins. These, oh God, you just rattle on, don't you, buddy? Sluzzy, you've really shown me today where you are in terms of skill. Like, you've just admitted just outright that you don't think it was rare circumstances that you could extend a chase. What's wrong with this guy? 100%, look at this. Funny, the exact same argument could be made the other way around. Balancing around bad survivors is ruining the game. 100%, 100%. That wouldn't make any sense though. The evidence is overwhelming they balance for very bad killers. Where are you, stat Sluzzy? I believe Sluzzy. Of course you do, of course you do. I can't with this guy anymore. I can't with this guy anymore, I can't do it. Just give up killer main. All right, forget about getting a good patch if you ever get one. It won't last long. Don't even go to the forums anymore. Don't waste your energy typing how this patch is unfair or whatever. All survivors have to do is whine about it and the devs will say, I got you, homie. <laughs> I got you, homie. <laughs> I got you, homie. <laughs> That's brilliant. When survivors take ages to find lobbies, it's just constant whinging this week. <laughs> oh, Dark Gims, why? I won't be in the threads as much or at all, because it's a waste of time. Anyways, all the killer mains, have a good day. Okay, right, well, you've been jailed anyway, or banned, is that banned? That's banned, yeah, you've been banned. You must have said something else. Michaela wants your boon. Survivors are evil and killers are the victim. Love these threads. <laughs> yeah, 100%. All right, boys, you heard nightmare. Time to uninstall. <laughs> yeah. These forums never cease to amaze me, Shinobu. Especially when you imagine posts like these are written seriously with a straight face. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you'd hope it's a troll, right? You'd hope, but come on. You're a troll. We know. Has anyone considered why people get tunneled out? Despite new changes, once again, the cries of a few outweigh the many, and we have extra borrowed time. This will not have the effect you want. Instead, this will quickly shift back to the old and bully meta that we've desperately tried to avoid. Tunneling is always going to be a thing, but does anyone ever stop to consider why it happens? Point Blank, it's toxicity. No. 98% of the time, someone is going to be tunneled out of a match because they decided to be toxic and a nasty killer. You have, like, there's so much evidence to claim against that as well, but I'll get to my point of view after this. Whenever a teammate of mine gets tunneled, it's usually because they are teabagged after a stun. I wonder why he was tunneled. <laughs> teabagging after a blind, flashlight clicking, or doing everything they can to be so obnoxious as possible for no reason, other than to do it. The other 2%, again, my personal experience, are the ones that really don't care and just feel like being tools. Why are we rewarding toxic survivors with more ways to bully killers? Oh, you're on our side. Until we start handling the toxic side, tunneling and camping will not go away. I agree with you. However, some killers will tunnel because they feel like it's going to- They are noobs. Like, that's how they're going to win the game. Sometimes, and I know this is going to sound really strange to some people, but it actually can be for strategy. Sometimes they are aware of a situation, they're aware they don't have DS, they know that the, the, chips, the chips are down for that particular survivor, and they'll tunnel that person out for maybe the third, the third hook, the third hook stage, and that's that. Then they got three survivors to worry about at one gen or two gens. I know people don't want to hear this, but this is just facts. Like... Yes, of course, if they're being teabagged and flashlighted constantly, yeah, our killer's probably going to get pissed off and then they're going to, you know, they're going to kick some ass. No, it's not because of toxicity, it's only a factor. Yes, exactly, Dr. Soon TM. 
unlocked a Sue TM. That's brilliant. And so, uh, but mainly it's because of efficiency, and sometimes it's because of stupidity. Survivors challenging the killer, trying to get his attention away from another when they already are dead on hook. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Why are survivors being ignored? Why do I get two sluzzy posts in one video? Why? I have a feeling you have something to do with this, sir. Or whatever the hell you are, you weird plastic bitch. <laughs> I feel like behavior is putting quantity before quality. Really? You've only just figured that out, you moron. Over the last past few years, especially considering new DLCs are very killer-centric. Are they, though? Have you seen fucking the Ringu chapter? <laughs> this makes me sincerely believe there is a lack of empathy for survivors and have completely given up and focused on making money strictly on killer DLCs. To be fair, killers bring in the most revenue in terms of sales. Like, I can agree to that. But survivors do. They, they bring in a fair chunk as well. You know what I mean? Your, your, your pictures of Laurie Strode. Idiot. Using Resident Evil again to bring and attract more players to buy the overpowered killer. Yes, Nemesis was overpowered. In an attempt to repeat the success of Nemesis. Again, Nemesis was overpowered, wasn't he, Sluzzy? The new killer has no counterplay, leaving survivors hopeless. <laughs> He loves that. Like, it's over. Oh my god. Like, he's so dramatic, man. When Survivors finally had some content to refresh the game with Michaela Reed, that's when Boons came in. I bet you were happy. The devs were very quick to listen to unsubstantiated complaints and nerf circle healing numerous times. It's in a good place, dude. Chill out. Survivors had little hope. <laughs> little hope. <laughs> You're so dramatic. The issue now is that the last patch completely broke and ruined the game. Wow. Survivors have clearly made their voices heard and behavior has ra been radio silent and still focused on working and releasing a licensed killer that will be overpowered. Will it be overpowered, you absolute moron? Killers couldn't play the PTB because no survivors played. That's not true. Providing, proving once again there is nothing for survivors. That's not true. There's two survivors in this fucking update, you moron. I get so heated with this guy. I think this is dangerous for behavior to be stubborn and completely ignore an overwhelming majority of their player base. From what I can see, most survivors are playing and not having any fun, knowing they hardly have a chance to... All right. Ah. Behavior is making a very bad judgment decision. Okay. To not revert some of the killer buffs. You want to revert the buffs? What buffs did we get? The Nanophobia, gone. Ruin, gone. Pop, gone. The, 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 the Scourge one, okay. What else do you need? Do you want us just to be in diapers, walk around going goo goo gaga? Idiot. Nemesis is not OP. Circle of Hearing is the best healing perk in the game. I'm likely to agree, Broken Bones. Survivors are getting the best anti-camping perk in the game next patch. Survivors aren't being ignored. They nerfed the Nata because of survivor complaints. Yeah, that's fair. Even though it was nice having it for a day. Sluzzy, you do not speak for the survivor player base. Player base. Please stop acting like you do. Yeah, you don't. You're a moron. You're a moron! Oh my god! Why? Why do you guys hate me? Why? Survivors deserve a meta perk return. <laughs> oh my god. Considering Killer's got a very popular meta back with... <laughs> with DMS plus Scourge Hook. Oh, Dead Man Switch, yeah. Dead Heart and Self Care should be returned to make Survivor gameplay a little more bearable and add some hope. He loves that word, doesn't he? This is only one very small baby step in helping erase the misery and lack of motivation of survivors. Survivor morale is in the lowest in DVD history. No one gives a shit, mate. <laughs> Read this one. Look at this. Hey, idiot. Look at this. Survivors didn't get a dead hard replacement as killers got a meta replacement with the same boring perks that survivors have to contend with. Killers are still using slowdown perks. First of all, of course we're using slowdown perks, you idiot. We have to because the game would just go bing done, right? Second bit, survivors didn't get a dead hard replacement. No, you didn't get a dead hard replacement. You got a better replacement in my opinion, a more healthy replacement. The dead hard you get now is skill based. I'm working myself up so much today. <laughs> 
This guy's an idiot. He's cracked. I can't do it anymore. We're going to have to get better at this if we're going to work together. I know. You understand? I'm sorry, Mr. Bim. It's been rough today, guys. Bim. Hope you've enjoyed Dead By. Bim. Leave a like, share, comment down below. And let us know what you think about the situation we're in. Sluzzy, get good. Seriously. You do not represent the survivor community of this game. You don't. Okay? Um. I love you guys. I'm on TikTok now. <laughs> um. Link in the description. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I, I proper got here today. <laughs> I can't do this guy anymore. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. I'm going to go and cool off and jump in the uh, pool outside. It's a little blow up one. Don't know why you needed to know that. Hot tub stream coming up. Ah. Uh?